welcome to Somerville Highlander Hockey on Somerville Ed TV. I'm Todd Harmon and today the Highlanders are taking on the big blue of Swampscott. Uh, Swampscott comes over with an overall record of 3-1 and 2 coming off their first loss of the season to Musconomet. They are playing up from Division 4 to face the Division 3 Highlanders today. Of course, the Highlanders coming off the disappointing loss to Methuen. Two straight losses to Methuen. 4-1 to one at the end of the first responders tournament. And then a 4-3 to three loss this past Wednesday here at the Vet. A very tough game. The Highlanders led through most of that game. Just were not able to hold on in that third period. Of course, these two teams did meet last year on Seniors Day here at the Vet. Highlanders were able to secure the shutout against the Big Blue with a 4 to nothing victory as they were on their way to the playoffs after that victory. Of course, the playoffs, the Highlanders went into that Division II playoff last year, getting the overtime victory in the qualifying round. We are underway as the opening faceoff won away by the Highlanders. Big Blue will dump it into the zone. Played there by Candelino, but not out. As Ardolino is able to get it by the line. Into the attacking zone, Brokeman into the corner. As Ardolino gets a nice check in there, fighting in the corner. She so goes behind the net. Big Blue trying to clear it out. Held in, though, by the Highlanders. It's Tim Jones doing a nice job along the boards, but it's taken out by one of the captains. Played towards the goal, swatted away there by Robbie Larkin. Swamp's got able to keep it in the zone as he fires it towards the crease. That was Will Roddy, their captain. Knocked away once again by Larkin. Highlanders trying to get it out, but the puck controlled by Faya. Now the Highlanders will be able to clear it out of the zone. As the Highlanders will get a change behind the play, Cassesso takes it into the zone. He'll play it back behind the net, picked up there by DeAngelis. DeAngelis scored one of the four goals for the Highlanders in last year's contest against Swapskit. Good check in the corner there. As the Rosas comes away with it, Rosas another goal scorer for the Highlanders last year against Swapskit. Battle in the corner, Swamp's get able to get it away. Clearing it from the zone for just a moment. Highlanders gain control as Shane Doe back playing after an illness. He was out against Methuen. Great to have Shane back, a very vital defensive cog for the Highlanders, number 14. 13-12 remaining in the first period. We're just underway here at the Vet. Faceoff will come back into the big blue zone. Islanders a 500 record, three and three. No ties on the season so far. Face off for Owen Rosas in the circle for the Highlanders. Swamps get able to get that one away and they clear the zone as Bartman brings it in, Bartram. Over to Ferrari. Ferrari plays it around the net. Rothwell picks it up, now back at the point. Papalardo able to keep it in as they play it towards the slot, able to be cleared away. Freire once again towards the slot, opportunity there, blocked away by Shane Doe. Now behind the net, Bartram doing work for the Big Blue. So Highlander is able to get it away. As Rosas play, dumps it into the zone, Highlanders get a change as do the Big Blue. With speed, Brokeman into the area. Nice breakaway opportunity, Freire in, and he takes the shot, beautiful pad save there with the right leg by Robbie Larkin. He was able to stick that pad right out there and stop that attempt. As Freire broke in, Swampskit once again showing speed as Faya gets it. Good check in behind the net. And the pass is intercepted. Opportunity for the Highlanders, but it gets taken off his stick. Now Tim Jones with it. Jones fires the forehand shot wide. 
Now Brokeman with it, plays it back to the point. Brokeman fires it towards the net, and that one is in to the back of the net for the Highlander goal. As Martinez Brokeman tossed that one towards the net, Tim Jones may have gotten a stick on it to get the goal himself on the deflection. Highlanders lead one to nothing, 11.37 remaining here in the first period of play. Islanders strike first, one to nothing the lead. As they will keep it in the attacking zone, D'Angelo is able to keep it in. Played around behind the net. Artelino into the corner fighting. Comes around behind the net. Plays it back out to the point. Kept in there by Gautier. Now the big blue able to clear it out. Shane Doe with it for the Highlanders. Tim Jones is our goal scorer. The assist goes to Brokeman. As that went into the slot, but unable to be connected, co collected by Oliveri. And the Highlanders able to clear it out back the other direction. Matt DeAngelis got his pocket picked as he tried to swing across the goal mount. Now back the other direction. Roddy into the attacking zone. He's brought down. Whistle sounds as he was hit by behind, from behind by Matt DeAngelis. DeAngelis is going to go spend some time in the box. And the Big Blue will get themselves a power play here with 10.40 remaining in the first period. So the penalty killing unit for the Highlanders is out. Opportunity here for the Big Blue to answer back. So the Highlanders take the lead on that Tim Jones goal. Assisted by Matt Brokeman. And that is going to be kept in. Face-off won by the Highlanders, but Papalardo kept it in at the blue line. As they work it around, shot fired wide that time by Quinn Hitchcock. Big Blue keep control, fighting over in the corner for the puck. Seamus Foley played over to the middle point. Now here near point, fired by Freire wide. Rebounded out into the slot, but it's going to be the goal, the net, I should say, off of its mooring there. Everybody gets a line change. Want to remind everybody out there, Somerville Ed TV has all of your Highlander sports action. We've got boys and girls basketball as well as Highlander hockey action. As you can see, Highlanders clear it out of the zone. Minute 25 remaining in the penalty on the Highlanders. They lead one to nothing off of an early even strength goal by Tim Jones. Nice job there by Artelino as he was able to muck things up, keep the big blue from gaining the blue line. They finally do. Papalardo feeds it over far side. Opportunity for Hitchcock. Nope. He'll fire it over to the far side again. Pass into the slot, knocked away. Highlanders clear it out as Artelino will fire it down ice, out of bounds. 9.30 left here in the first period. Highlanders up one, nothing. 53 seconds left in the Swampskit power play. It's Tim Jones, the Highlander goal scorer, going to step in, take this face off. Highlanders win that one. As Foley brings it back, he's going to hold on to it, take as much time off the clock, and then fire it down ice. 40 seconds left in the big blue power play. As they set themselves for an attack. Papalardo brings it up, but he gets his pocket picked right in front of us by Tim Jones. Tim into the attacking zone. Takes more time off of the penalty as Roddy now with it. 
Jones once again gets the stick in there. Finally, they gain the blue line. Three extra seconds on the penalty clock. The referees did reference that. They're going to stop the penalty itself. Whenever there's three seconds left, DeAngelis will come out of that box, and that's going to be in three seconds. As DeAngelis is out of the box, penalty is over. Highlanders still lead one to nothing. Nice job on that penalty kill. Big Blue are in the attacking zone, though, as Faya gets it over across ice. Shot towards the net, blocked away. Did not get through. Played back to the point, it goes all the way out. Opportunity here as Matt DeAngelis is down there. Now the Highlanders have possession. It's DeAngelis, actually strike that. That's Cassessa. It's Cassesso into the zone, plays it back to DeAngelis. Now DeAngelis along the boards, plays it down into the corner. And the big blue game possession is Rothwell has it, brings it forward to Bartram. Bartram plays it towards the goal. And the bouncing puck handled aptly by Robbie Larkin. An excellent job there by Larkin. As that puck was bouncing around in front of him, he had Rothwell bearing down on him. And he just put it right in the glove. Seven fifty remaining here in the first period. Highlanders leading one to nothing. Matt DeAngelis fast up the ice, gives it to Chris Cassesso. Puck stolen away. Jason Rothwell tried to clear it. Highlanders able to keep it in the zone. As DeAngelis tried the slapper. Blocked away by Rothwell. Into the attacking zone for the big blue. As Gautier plays it out to Cassessa. Back over to Gautier as they try to get it out of the zone. Strong forecheck action here by the big blue. As Rothwell tried to get it away from Cassesso, was not quite able to. DeAngelis was able to get it down ice. Highlander is able to get a change. With speed, Frary into the zone, and we're going to have a whistle as Frary was coming across the blue line. A trip is going to be the call. We'll see who ends up into the penalty box, but Swampscott will have their second power play opportunity. The Highlanders have already turned away one power play by the Big Blue as Logan Gautier will head to the sin bin. 6.59 remaining, two minute penalty on the board here. Highlanders immediately able to clear. Good job winning the face off there. Foley clears it out. Penalty kill unit out for the Highlanders once again. As they get a cross ice pass, good opportunity here. Good job by Robbie Larkin as he got the pads down. Roddy came around, tried to get a shot on goal. It looked like it went wide. Another nice job there by Robbie Larkin. Now Roddy once again fires it out wide looking for Faya, but he loses the puck at the blue line. Now near side they'll try to get in, but Seamus Foley says, thank you, I'll take that and he'll dump it into the zone. Minute 15 remaining in the penalty. As Roddy once again has it through neutral ice. Loses the handle, Faya right behind him. Now they get it over here, Papalardo, and he's sent to the ice surface by Seamus Foley. Highlanders get control. So they fire it down ice, clearing the zone again. 50 seconds left in the power play. Highlanders a one goal lead, looking to fight off their second penalty of this first period. Doing an excellent job mucking up the works in neutral ice as they've really kept the big blue out of the attacking zone during this penalty. Good touch there to Roddy. Roddy will skate it in as he drops it back to Faya. Now Faya with it, gets it poked away. Nice job there stealing the puck away by Matt DeAngelis, and he finds Chris Cassesso to clear the zone. Two on two opportunity as Cassesso is in. His shot is up wide, blockered away by Dom Papalardo. Islanders keep it in the zone. Short-handed attack here as the penalty is over. Even strength again. Islanders fight off their second of the period. Artelino feeds it across ice. Highlanders looking to build an attack here. Tim Jones in the slot. 
Couldn't quite get the puck to him as Cassesso had it taken away. Back the other direction now, Frary gets that puck taken away. Nice job there on the far side as Matt DeAngelis stood him right up and took the puck away. Frary once again hit good check in the middle there by Tim Jones. Highlanders playing physical hockey seems to be messing up the flow of what Swampskit wants to do. As that is dumped in by Frary, handled behind the net by Larkin. Highlanders looking to clear the zone and they will with speed as Owen Rosas is out. He's into the corner looking for help. Down there, Tolosa checks him against the boards and the net is off the moorings. We have a stoppage on the ice. 3.56 remaining in the first period. Islanders leading one to nothing. Tim Jones with the deflection. Got it past Parpolardo. Off the assist by Matt Brokman. Rosas to take it. One by the Big Blue. Islander is able to keep it in the attacking zone. Frary gets it taken away by DeAngelis. DeAngelis plays it to the slot. Great opportunity, and that is a Highlander goal from Kyle Antonelli. Beautiful play by Matt DeAngelis as he stole the puck away, snuck out from behind the net, and found Antonelli sitting in the slot for the goal. The assist goes to Matty DeAngelis. The goal goes to Kyle Antonelli and the Highlanders lead by two. 340 remaining in the first period. Two to nothing is your Highlander lead. Highlanders win the faceoff. They play it to Tim Jones. Jones into the area. He spins. Has the puck taken away in the corner. Now Will Roddy with speed, down ice. Foul is going to be the call as Roddy was interfered with. So he split two Highlander defenders against the blue line. Oh, strike that. Face off all the way down here into the blue, blue big blue. On the lengthy icing. Great opportunity here for Cassesso as it just was kicked away by Papalardo as Cassesso was able to get that one in the slot. Now Tim Jones with a little bit of speed. Almost lost the edge there. Highlanders able to gain control yet again. So they have dominated possession here in the first period. Under three minutes remaining. Highlanders with a two to nothing lead. Brokeman chases that into the corner. Played all the way back off a deflection. That's got to be covered up by Papalardo. Highlanders held scoreless last year against Swampscott in the first period. They have found the back of the net twice this year against the Big Blue. Face off in the Swampscott zone. It's going to be one away by Swampscott, but the Highlanders quickly get possession. And they have it at the point, fired in. Rosas chasing. Rosas looking to pick a pocket. DeAngelo, sorry, strike that. That was Ardolino with speed, stealing that puck away. Played it into the zone. Played all the way around. DeAngelis now mid-boards, near side. Joined there by Ardolino. Now Seamus Foley with it. As Rosas cuts in towards the slot but couldn't get the shot off. The big blue come back the other direction. Frary is squeezed off, has to dump it in. Highlanders will get possession as Candeloni has it. Candeloni plays it forward. And that's going to go through for the icing. A minute 45 remains here in the first period. Highlanders up two to nothing. Faceoff will come back to the Highlanders zone. 
Talk really quickly about what we've got this winter here on Somerville Ed TV. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, mash those buttons for us. We've gotten our subscribers up over 2,000. Thank you so very much. Let's go for 2,500 as the Highlanders lose that draw and a great shot attempt there by Roddy got through to Larkin, but he was able to knock it down. That one deflected away as Rosas was able to knock, block it away. That one got through. Larkin was able to knock that one away as well. Now here near side, opportunity for Hitchcock. That one knocked away as well. Larkin doing an excellent job as he's able to face four shots in this time frame and knock them all away. Minute 15 remaining in the period. Swamp's got upping the attack here late in the first period. Highlanders able to get it away though. And Cassesso trying to get down ice with some speed, got knocked down. Here's an opportunity as Brokeman is in, and he comes wide, couldn't quite get control in the crease. One minute remaining here in the first period. Highlanders leading by two. Swampscott trying to get it out of their zone. Cassesso with the check from behind. That's going to go for a roughing penalty right there. So the Highlanders will finish this period. On the penalty kill, they killed off two penalties earlier by Swampscott. Highlanders playing very physical hockey. It's doing an excellent job in terms of strategically against the Big Blue, preventing the speed that the Big Blue can have. But you're also getting some fouls and some penalty opportunities for them. Highlanders been able to fight off two of them. A third penalty kill here to end the first period for the Highlanders. Second penalty, the Highlanders really did an effective job of keeping it out of their attacking zone. We'll see if they're able to keep it out of their zone here. 27 seconds remaining in the period. As this does get the zone. Candelino around the back of the net, plays it back for Foley. Foley looking to clear, and he does clear the zone. 13 seconds remaining in the period. Big Blue, only 10 now to get an attack on. They're going to have to push hard. And an opportunity here for the Highlanders as Ardolino took that one away. That will do it though. After one period of play, the Highlanders lead the Big Blue of Swampscott by the score of two to nothing. Matt DeAngelis with an assist along with Matt Brokeman. Tim Jones, your goal scorer. Kyle Antonelli as well. Goal scorers there in the first period. We will be back for second half action here from the Vet on Somerville Ed TV. are back at the Vet Veterans Memorial Rink here in Somerville. I'm Todd Harmon on Somerville Ed TV. We are underway here in the second period, not second half, second period. Too much basketball, which by the way, we have available on Somerville Ed TV. Highlander boys and girls basketball action. Keep track of all Highlander athletics here on Somerville Ed TV. A great opportunity here for the Big Blue as they break into the zone. Bo Oliveri, but the Highlanders able to shut it down very quickly. Highlanders with a two to nothing lead here as we open out the second period. Play back to the point. Now over here near point, Quinn Hitchcock has it. Hitchcock taking his time with possession. Power play for the Big Blue for another 30 seconds. Opportunity there, a little bit close there, but Robbie able to shut it down as Robbie Larkin got there for the pad save. Highlander shorthanded now attacking. 16 seconds left in the Highlander penalty. So they lead two to nothing after goals by Tim Jones and by Kyle Antonelli. That shot off the outside netting, fired through the slot, penalty is over. Teams are at even strength. And right out of the penalty box, Cassesso. Cassesso is around the net, trying to keep control against Quinn Hitchcock, gets it to Tim Jones. Jones fires it towards the net, it goes wide. That puck did not clear the zone. It was kept in. Highlanders able to play it. Nice job by Matt Mannion. That one able to clear the zone by the Big Blue. But it's going to go for the icing. So it will come back to the Swampskit Swamp zone. 13.09 remaining here in the second period. Highlanders up 
two to nothing. They fought off three penalties. Highlander penalty kill has come to play tonight as they lead two to nothing, two even strength goals for the Highlanders. As that draw initially won by the Highlanders, but the speed of the big blue able to poke it along, but icing is once again the call. So we will come back down to the Swampscott zone for the faceoff. Dom Papillardo is the goalie for the big blue. Highlanders have gotten two past him so far. Looking to build on that here in the second period. As Cassesso plays that around the net. Jones trying to chase it down. Plays it back here to the point. Fired in. Now Cassessa loses control, gets it right back. So he'll play it down into the corner. He's got Jones in front of the net. He'll play it around the net. Fires it across. Taken away by the big blue, but not cleared out. And as Frary has it. Frary is able to clear it as he carries it out. Gets it over here near to Jason Rothwell. Rothwell, though, unable to control it and come directly into the zone. Fires off a bad angle shot that goes off the outside of the net. Big Blue keeps it in though. Frary with it, comes around behind the net. Plays it back to the point. Tolosa there, but cannot keep it in. Frary will carry it out for the Big Blue and try to bring it back. Short pass there, Tim Jones right there to take it. And is gonna get called for the penalty as he was tripping. Tim Jones, I believe, on that play. No. Nope. There he goes. Offsides was the call. I saw a trip, but I will. The offsides occurred previous to it. Draw one away by the big blue, but stolen away immediately. Owen Rosas in the passing lane. Rosas will carry it in. Gets his pocket pick mid-boards, but gets the puck back for a second. Played over here near side, Will Roddy will get it. Roddy plays it forward, nice pass as he puts it right on the stick of Faya. Faya around the net. Ridden off the puck by Foley. And the puck able to be kept in for a moment by Oliveira, but then sent out by Seamus Foley. Now action right in front of Tolosa. Plays it forward. Candelino against the boards. Gets it poked out. DeAngelis now with it. He's got speed. A little two on two as he's got Artelino with him. Artelino with a slapper from the point goes wide. Big hit there. And Artelino's going to get called for it too. Highlanders have come into this game. Strategy is obvious. They're being physical. Swamp's got a, a not as large in terms of their physicality, not as large of a team physically. They have a lot of speed on the ice. Highlanders looking to nullify that speed with physicality. That has resulted, though, in four Highlander penalties now as they're looking to kill off their fourth penalty of this game. 10.55 remains in the second period. Two to nothing, the Highlander lead. Swamp's got won the draw for a moment but then taken away. Unable to be cleared though as Hitchcock keeps it in. Try to play it back to Hitchcock at the point. It's taken by Frary, but Frary unable to keep it in the zone. Now Tim Jones comes in shorthanded. He'll fire it towards the net. Papalardo forced to play that one wide. Ten and a half minutes left in the second period. Minute 35 remaining in the Highlander penalty. Puck is dumped into the zone. Handled there by Gautier. Cleared away. Cassesso with it. He'll try to skate in shorthanded. Gets his pocket picked by Hitchcock. Back here near side. Opportunity for Bartram. As he plays it back towards the point, the Highlanders will steal it. As Jones dumps that in, Highlanders go for the change. Ten minutes remaining in the period. One minute, five seconds remaining in the penalty. Rothwell plays it across to Frary. Frary gets the zone. Comes in against Candelino, goes all the way around. Tries to feed it into the slot to Roddy, but poked away by the Highlanders and out. <laughs> 45 seconds remaining in the penalty. Highlanders shorthanded. Hitchcock 
gains the zone, drops it back. Now they bring it here, cross ice, chased down by Faya. Faya with it, plays it back to the center point. Tried to tap that one in, but Seamus Foley is right there to play it and brings it on out. Now Brokeman with the four check shorthanded, 20 seconds remaining in the penalty. Opportunity for Matt DeAngelis there as he intercepted the puck. Shorthanded, Highlanders keeping it in the Swampskit zone. Doing a good job here, shorthanded. Five seconds remaining in the penalty. Brokeman has it behind the net. Penalty is over. Highlanders have killed off a fourth penalty here. 8.50 remaining in the period. Ardolino comes around, tries to poke that one home. Strike that, that's Brokeman came around, tried to poke that one home on the backhand. Papalardo able to hold the puck. Brokeman already an assist tonight, or today I should say, as he assisted on Tim Jones' goal that opened the scoring in the first period. 8.45 remains in the second period. Highlanders up two to nothing. As the draw won by the Highlanders, Cassesso plays it towards the net, it goes wide. Tim Jones has it behind the net. Checked there by Faya. Is the big blue able to clear it away? Oliveira in, ridden off the puck though, and that is picked, covered up by Robbie Larkin. Face off in the Highlander zone, 824 remaining in the second period. Face off one by the big blue. Fed here near side, Tolosa. Tolosa, his shot goes wide. Tolosa will get his own rebound, fire it back towards the slot, but it's cleared out wide. Tolosa saving it at the blue line and he'll dump it back in far corner. Oliveira tried to play it there, he whiffed. Highlanders will get it. Tim Jones. And we have a conflagration behind the play is the sweaters and equipment got tied up, it looks like. As Faya got all tied up back there with, uh, let's see here, Gautier, I believe. Stoppage for a moment while the face off neutral ice right in front of us here. Eight minutes remaining in the second period. As DeAngelis wins that one, but the big blue get it. As Bartram was into the zone, DeAngelis chased him down. Freire comes away with it, back down to Bartram. Bartram's pass back to the point, stolen by DeAngelis. DeAngelis in open ice, skates it in. Gets squeezed off the puck at the slot. As the big blue able to clear that one away. Handled by Doe, he'll clear it out of the Highlander zone. As Doe comes up in neutral zone, pokes the puck away. Now Mannion chases it down. Mannion right through middle ice. Goes all the way down into the Swampskit zone where the Highlanders are on the attack as Kyle Antonelli has it. Back behind the net. Battling along there is Preston Ardolino as well. Ardolino plays it back towards the point. Kept in by Doe just for a moment. Ardolino will get the hit there. But the puck will get out of the zone, and we're going to have another whistle. As Ardolino will head back to the penalty box. Referee says he went for his head with the check. Highlander head coach Chris Capazzo not agreeing with that. Conversation occurring in front of the penalty box. But either way, Highlanders will be shorthanded for the fifth time today. 6.50 left in the second period. Highlanders have killed off three penalties so far. They're going for the quad kill here. As Foley has it behind the net. Foley will dump that one out all the way down. Nice job by Seamus Foley as he dumps that out. Cassesso chasing it around. Cassesso steals it with speed. Jumps it back. Foley with it. He'll clear it out of the zone. Islanders very efficient on the penalty kill thus far. 
But now on the fourth, now on the shorthanded opportunity, Tim Jones was in front of the net, tried to poke that in from Cassesso, just skied it over the net. Minute 20 remaining in the penalty. Big Blue have possession as they try to bring it up ice through neutral ice. Oliveira will carry it all the way in as he gets the shot, four-handed shot handled very well by Robbie Larkin. Left the rebound down for just a second and picked it up. Good job by Robbie Larkin. Robbie's faced probably about 10 shots today. He's done an excellent job so far holding Swampscott off the board. Two to nothing, the Highlander lead. 5.58 remaining in the second period. A minute eight remains in the Highlander penalty. As the Highlanders win the draw, Doe clears it out. Frankie Papalardo behind the net will start things. Gives it to Will Roddy. Roddy up ice to Faya. Faya into the attacking zone. Played by Doe. Doe got the stick blade to it, popped it up and out into the netting. Faceoff will take place in the Highlander zone. Make sure you keep your eyes here on Somerville Ed TV as we move through the winter season. We've got the basketball, then we move into the spring. We'll have lacrosse, we'll have boys volleyball. We will also have softball and baseball coming up in the spring as well as graduation ceremonies throughout the city of Somerville. Keep your eyes here on Somerville Ed TV. Like, share, and subscribe. Mash those buttons for us. As the Big Blue, 30 seconds left in the penalty to the Highlanders. That one poked wide right through the crease by Faya, but could not get into the net. Doe battling with Oliveira behind the net. They get a bad angle shot, goes wide. Oliveira with it, plays it back to the point. Over here to Hitchcock. Hitchcock with the slapper. That one's off the blocker. Good job there by Larkin as Hitchcock tried the slapper. Two seconds remaining. The penalty is over. 4.45 remains in the second period. Teams back to even strength as Shane Doe will clear that out of the zone. Cassesso has the opportunity to nullify the icing but can't quite get to it. So it will be an icing on the Highlanders. The faceoff will come back to the Highlander zone. Highlanders playing a physical brand of hockey today. They have been dinged with four penalties. They have killed off four power plays. They are even strength now. As we have four and a half minutes remaining here in the period, good opportunity there as Hitchcock had that or strike that. That was Frary who had the puck. Frary had it near side of the net. The puck got covered up, so we'll have another face off. One by the Highlanders. As that is cleared away by Owen Rosas, carried in by Tim Jones. Jones' shot attempt is blocked wide by Pilot. Now Cassesso behind the net, comes out far side, looking for some help. Patience there from Cassesso, feeds it back down deeper. Cassesso now with it, fires it towards the net, went short side, almost snuck that one in past Papalardo, but he was able to get the skate against the post. 4.03 remaining here in the second period. Highlanders leading two to nothing off the power of two first period goals. They have also killed off four penalties. There's that draw, one away by the big blue. It's poked forward by Frary trying to team up with Rothwell. Highlanders able to take it away. Frary now. He's being harried there by DeAngelis, played all the way back to Papalardo. Good active forecheck there by the Highlanders. 3.47 remaining in the second period. That one by DeAngelis for a moment, but Swampska comes away with it. They're able to clear it down ice. Will Roddy with speed. He's gonna be the first to it. 
He's held up in the corner by Seamus Foley. And the Highlanders come away with the puck as Rosas comes up with it, gives it off to, D to Ardolino. Ardolino tried to play that one, but blocked away. Now Candelino right in front of us will dump it into the Swampscott zone. Papalardo checked there by Ardolino. Played deeper by Antonelli. And DeAngelis with the check in the corner. As Swampscott is able to clear the zone for a moment, but then dumped right back in by Shane Doe. It's Brokeman now with it, again in the corner. Plays it, nope, thought about playing it to the point. Instead, he cycles it deeper to Casessa. Casessa around the net, tried to poke that one in. Couldn't quite keep a hold of it, though. As Swampscott able to clear the zone, Will Roddy gets checked in, neutral ice. But he's able to dump it in. Matt Mannion clears that one for the Highlanders. Dumped back in, helped around by Larkin. Tim Jones with it, pokes that one forward, unable to clear the zone. Larkin with the pad save. Around the net is Frary. Frary plays it back to the point to Hitchcock. Hitchcock, a little backhand, looking for the near side, trying to get Bartram over here. Not able to control it, though. Nice job by the Highlanders there as Casessa was able to mess things up. Brokeman was able to pick it up and carry it in. Highlanders go for the change after Brokeman dumps it in. Casessa. As this one, Shane Doe unable to handle it there. Bartram plays it back to Rothwell. Rothwell shot, blocker to side. Now behind the net. Doe comes out with it. Doe has speed down ice. Shane Doe showing some offense from the defensive position. He's got two assists on the season as well. Highlanders have to clear the zone as they did come out of the zone. Played all the way down. Seamus Foley will play it. Two to nothing, the Highlander lead. A minute five remains in the second period as it's played forward to Matt DeAngelis. DeAngelis into the zone. Tries to find Tim Jones. Blocked away, though, by Pilot. Pilot battling in the corner with DeAngelis as he cycles it deeper. Rosas with it. Rosas tried to play it into the slot, stolen away by Roddy. As he plays that one down ice, the icing is going to be the call. 43 seconds remaining in the second period. No score here in the second period. Highlanders leading two to nothing. Both of those goals in the first period. Highlanders have fought off four Swampscott power plays throughout this game as well. Faceoff will come down here to the Swampscott zone. Tim Jones in the circle for the Highlanders. As Swampscott able to clear that one away. It's a race to the puck. Roddy versus Candelino. Roddy wins it. Played it back, but unable to be controlled by Faya. Highlanders coming back the other direction. Chris Cassesso has speed, 25 seconds remaining in the period. Cassesso circles, plays it back towards the slot, stolen away by Roddy. Roddy, a very fast skater. He's squeezed off, though, by Cassesso. 10 seconds remaining here in the second period as Seamus Foley collects it behind the net. Turnover in the zone for the Highlanders though as Faya has it, he'll fire it. Feathered towards the net, goes wide and that will do it for the second period of play. Two to nothing, the Highlander lead as we move towards the third period here from the vet on Somerville Ed TV. We are back at Veterans Memorial Rink here in Somerville for third period action between the Big Blue of Swampscott and the Highlanders of Somerville. Somerville leads two to nothing after first period goals by Tim Jones and Kyle Antonelli. That is held up through the second period. Highlanders have fought off four different penalties and been able to hold on to that two to nothing lead. And Swampscott into the attacking zone is Will Roddy. He's ridden down. You see the Highlanders very physical with Swampscott. That's how they've gotten those four penalties. 
Opportunity here in front of the net as they try to get it there in the slot was Oliveri, but he never could quite get the blade of the stick to it. Now Hitchcock into the attacking zone, skates down, he's pinching down. He's their lead defenseman. Keep an eye on that, the opportunities might come as the Highlanders fire that one towards the net. Had to be stopped by Papalardo by, from Casessa. As Brokeman will throw that one in, or Gautier, sorry, threw that one in. Now D'Angelo steals it in the corner, fires it towards the slot. It's deflected out to Gautier. Gautier's shot almost got deflected into the net, but it was deflected on goal. Papalardo popped it up over the net. And Swamska comes out with Ifea, plays that forward, shot all the way down ice, handled from Roddy by Larkin. As a big blue get a change, Frary will steal the puck away on the four check. Now Bartram with it in the corner, he's checked over there. Highlanders very physical, like I said, Gautier putting the physical down right there in the near corner. Highlanders lead two to nothing, 13 minutes remaining in the game. As Rothwell into the Highlander zone, Doe will take it off of him there in the corner. And Doe will look to start the attack for the Highlanders as he plays it near side here to DeAngelis who is squeezed down by Bartram. Bartram not giving the open ice to DeAngelis there. As the big blue trying to play a bit physically here in the third, Frary and DeAngelis battling over there in the corner and it's DeAngelis who's going to be sent to the box. Another penalty here against the Highlanders. That's the fifth of the day. Highlander penalty kill out for the fifth time. Swampskit will have the man advantage. Highlanders have yet to have the man advantage. They've been able to kill off four penalties so far. Let's see if they can get the fifth here leading two to nothing. 12.41 remaining in the game. Played back to the point as Swampskit won it. Hitchcock with it. Feeds it over here near side to Papalardo. Back over to Hitchcock. Hitchcock gives it off to Faya. Back over to Hitchcock. He'll try it. Blocked wide. Now puck stolen by Chris Cassesso. Cassesso against Hitchcock. He's got Jones trailing. He'll fire it towards the net and Papalardo will keep hold of it there. Short-handed opportunity for the Highlanders as Chris Cassesso was able to steal that puck away. Minute 38 remaining in the power play, 12-19 left in the game. Face-off down in the Swampskit end. And it is won by the blue. As Hitchcock sends it down, Roddy will spin into the corner. Met there by Seamus Foley. Faya with it now. Back down to Roddy. Roddy back to Faya. Faya over to Hitchcock. Hitchcock at the center point. Gives it back to Faya in the circle. Far circle. Back over, center point. Now over here near circle, they give it to Papalardo. Papalardo back over to Hitchcock. Hitchcock fires it towards the net. Knocked away by, Ro knocked away by Larkin. Papalardo, number 18, a perfect location for the rebound off of that shot attempt by Hitchcock. That is exactly how they draw that up because when the puck is sent aside by Larkin, Papalardo ready to just pop it right back into the net. But Larkin able to take care of business there, stand tall in his crease. Face off due to the net coming off the moorings. Played back out to Hitchcock. He'll squeeze in just a little bit over here to Papalardo. Papalardo's shot's going to be knocked aside once again by Larkin. 50 seconds left in the penalty as they've been able to hold it in the attacking zone for a while here. Hitchcock pinches down to the circle and into the corner. Met down there by Mannion. He'll go all the way around Will Hitchcock. Back out here to the point to Papalardo. Papalardo wide side, shot put on goal. Did not get through though. As Faya plays it back out to Papalardo over here to Hitchcock near side. 25 seconds left in the penalty as Hitchcock skates it back out to the point. Drops it over to Roddy. Roddy through the slot. Gets through clean as Faya could not get the stick to it. Hitchcock fires it into the slot. Pushed back out by Doe. Hitchcock will keep it. Hitchcock fires it. That one knocked aside. Don't think that one got through clean as well. I think Mannion got a stick to it. 
Now that one poked away. Not out though as Hitchcock saves it. Penalty is over. Teams are at even strength. 10.35 remains in the game. That one played towards the net. So the Highlanders would love to clear the zone and they do. And cleared down with no icing as Papalardo, Dom Papalardo, has to cover it. Two to nothing is the Highlander lead. 10.25 remains in the game. Make sure you keep track of all Highlander hockey, Highlander basketball action here in the winter season. We've got MIAA rankings coming out soon in the next week. Keep an eye out, MIAA.net, to find out where the Highlanders lay in the rankings this season. That puck played around the net. Tim Jones has it. He'll cycle it back to Cassesso. Cassesso comes out far side. He'll cycle it back. Tim Jones got, it, got past him. Rosas, mid boards. He'll take it into the slot, but unable to get a shot off as it's stolen away by Oliveira. Penalty here against the Highlanders as Oliveira goes down. Another Highlander penalty to be killed off. Oliveira seems fine. That's going to be Seamus Foley going into the penalty box. That's a tough one for the Highlanders. Foley, their lead defenseman. 9.52 remaining in the game. The sixth penalty the Highlanders will have to kill off. And their number one penalty killer, Seamus Foley, in the sin bin. So it's going to be a tough situation here for the Highlanders fighting off this penalty, the sixth penalty kill of the game. DeAngelis versus Faya in the, the face-off circle as Doe comes away with it for a moment. Matt DeAngelis will get it, fire it out of the zone. Hitchcock will drop it at his skates, but they'll have to clear the zone. Papalardo back over to Hitchcock now. Highlanders trying to keep them outside the zone for a little while, keep them in that neutral area. Trapping a little bit at the blue line as Doe will try to clear that one out. It goes out of bounds. We'll see where they'll put this face off, whether it's inside the Highlander zone. I think it will be. That's where Doe was where he hit it. And it will be just inside the Highlander blue line. Minute 32 remaining in the penalty. 9.23 remaining in the game, and it will come just outside the Highlander zone. Parpolardo over to Hitchcock as the Blue are able to win that one. Hitchcock with speed goes in against Larkin and Larkin standing tall in the crease. With yet another save, Quinn Hitchcock, senior captain came in alone. Robbie Larkin was up to the task. A minute 22 remains in the penalty. 9-13 remains in the game. And that one by the Highlanders as Chris Cassesso's got speed, short-handed. He'll spin, tried to get it to, to Jones, but whiffed on it. Now danger here as Doe had a swamp skip player behind him. Now Roddy all the way around the goal gets it out to Papalardo. Papalardo lets it out of the zone though. Roddy feeds it over to Hitchcock. Hitchcock splitting defenders, goes in, tries to play that one, but hits it up high. You saw Hitchcock with the speed. He split those two Highlander defenders and almost got that one into the net as he hit that forehand shot just high. Faceoff will take place in this Highlander zone. 50 seconds left in the power play. Roddy with it over in the corner. Feeds it back to the point, Hitchcock. Hitchcock down to Faya. Faya around the net. Back over to the point to Parpolardo. Over to Faya, near boards. He'll fire the shot. His wrister is blocked by Larkin. Parpolardo squeezes in. Face off circle shot by Faya. Blocked away by Larkin once again. Robbie, let that one get in maybe beyond the skate. We'll see. What does the referee say? As Robbie stood tall in the crease, the puck came down around his skate. 
and it might have squeezed in, but it does not look like it. So 20 seconds remains in the penalty kill. No goal in that situation. Highlanders still lead two to nothing. 8-11 left in the game. Face off here, near side circle. And DeAngelis wins it. Ardolino with speed down the ice. Mid boards, he'll play it back. Doe was not there to hold it in, so he'll pull it all the way back. Eight seconds left in the Highlander penalty. Foley back out of the penalty box. Penalty is over. Teams are at even strength. The Highlanders have killed off six penalties this game. 7.45 remains in the game. Highlanders lead two to nothing. It's Cassesso with it now. He'll lead the attack. Cassesso out of the Highlander zone. He's got speed into the big blue zone. Plays it towards the slot. As DeAngelis tried to get the stick to it, wasn't quite able to. Held in by Mannion. Mannion plays it back through. DeAngelis deflected it back behind the net. Now Doe with it at the blue line. He'll poke it forward. That one knocked away, though, by Pilot. Good play there by Doe as he was able to knock it away. Now Cassesso with speed and Matt DeAngelis. Brokeman comes in late. Puck is knocked away. Rothwell with it now for Swampskin. Highlanders quick change on the fly. Rothwell surrounded by four Highlanders as the Blue go for the change as well. 6.45 remains in the game. Highlanders lead two to nothing. Foley plays it off the boards to Brokeman. Brokeman drops it to DeAngelis. DeAngelis forehand shot goes wide. Over in the corner, Jones has it. Jones battling over there with Fea. Now DeAngelis comes through. DeAngelis here near side. Plays it back Foley at the point. He'll keep it in by popping it up and it has to be gloved by Papalardo. 6-11 remaining in the game. Two to nothing, your Highlander lead here at Veterans Memorial Rink. The Highlanders look to pick up their fourth win of the season. Face off won by the Highlanders. Foley fires that one towards the nest, deflected up high and into the corner. Artelino with it. Artelino fires it over towards the slot. There it's handled by Hitchcock. Hitchcock feeds it out. The blue will clear the zone. Candelino, though, fires it right back in. Now Papalardo over to Hitchcock, back over to Papalardo. Aggressive forecheck here for the Highlanders. Good check along the boards as Candelino rode Roddy away from the puck. That one played towards the slot, dangerous puck there. Now an opportunity for the Highlanders as Hitchcock let it past him. Rosas is in, his shot is blocked away, glove save there by Papalardo. Now Ardolino able to stop that pass in neutral ice and fire it back in. Tim Jones behind the net. Derek Fea comes away with it and that'll be played all the way down. Robbie Larkin's going to have to play that one and he's going to keep hold of it as Will Roddy was right in on him. Two to nothing in the Highlander lead, 4.58 remaining in the game. Highlanders looking for their first shutout of the season. Robbie Larkin looking for the first shutout of his career. I'll go ahead and start mentioning that to you now since we're under the five minute mark. Highlanders looking to make their record four and three and hand Swampskit their second loss of the season. The draw won by Swampskit sent towards the goal wide. Rothwell, now Faya with it. Faya gets it taken away. Brokeman now. Brokeman down ice. He will, he will dump it in. It's Cassesso trying to collect it. Instead, Tim Jones ends up with it. Now the blue coming out of their zone, but unable to fully clear. Hitchcock, he'll circle, and he will carry it out of the zone. Hitchcock, lots of speed as he gets by Shane Doe. Chris Cassesso will kick that one away from him. And now Cassesso, tight turn around the net, and he's down ice. Two on three for the Highlanders here. 
It's Cassesso sent it towards the net, deflected towards Brokeman. Brokeman will send it deeper. Now Matt DeAngelis over in the corner. He'll go down to the ice surface, but Mannion sends it deep. It's Rothwell looking to pick here. A little cherry picking in the neutral zone. They tried to feed it forward to Rothwell. Highlander is able to shut that down. Now they find Matt DeAngelis here, but that's going to go for the icing. As DeAngelis unable to catch up to it. 347 left in the game. Highlanders up two to nothing against the big blue. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe here on Somerville Ed TV. We've got our 2,000 subscribers. I want 2,500. Make sure you mash those buttons, please. Face off, one by the big blue. Backhanded scoop shot there by Roddy goes wide. Now, DeAngelis with speed. Highlanders have numbers down ice. DeAngelis fires it into the crease. Knocked away there by Papalardo. Highlanders able to keep it in. Bartolino cycles it deeper. DeAngelis there along the mid boards. Now DeAngelis came out with it. I'll strike that. Artelino came out with it. Played that one. Was not able to get any action on it. Seamus Foley keeps it in the area. Highlanders getting a change while they keep it in the attacking zone. Now Tim Jones over there. Islanders get pushed off the puck. Derek Fea came away with it. Over, over far, far corner, Will Roddy over there. He gets bodied off the puck by Tim Jones. Islanders able to get it out of the zone here as Cassesso will carry it out. Cassesso, lots of speed into the zone. Tries to sweep it to Tim Jones in the slot. Instead, it goes behind the net where Jones will pick it up. Play it back out to the point to Shane D Joe Doe. He'll fire it back in. Now Mannion with it. 2.15 remaining in the game. Highlanders the 2 to nothing lead. Keeping an eye on Dom Papadarlo in the goal for Swampscott. See when he leaves the ice surface. Rothwell back to the point. Papadarlo keeps it in. Back to Rothwell. Rothwell cross ice. Shot by Frary goes wide as it's deflected. Less than two minutes remaining in the game. Hitchcock has it far point. Now Frary tries to skate that one in. Taken away from him, but Hitchcock keeps it in. Al Jones, nice job, or I strike that Brokeman. Nice job to clear it out. Papalardo to Hitchcock. Back over to Papalardo as they try to get the puck into the attacking zone. Oliveri. Being harried there by DeAngelis. DeAngelis and Brokeman, the four check very strong for the Highlanders as they force it back into the attacking zone. Minute 20 remains in the game. It is cleared, but it's clear to the Highlanders. Shane, jo Shane Doe very quickly able to clear it out. Dropped down by Kyle Antonelli, and he's going to get called. Offsides there as the zone was not cleared as Antonelli went into the zone. A minute nine remains in the game. Highlanders looking for their first shutout of the season. As they lead two to nothing. Their two goals came in the first period. Tim Jones scored the first. Kyle Antonelli scored the second. Timeout on the ice by the Big Blue with a minute nine remaining. They're going to talk things over strategically. What they will do this last minute. Keep an eye on number 33, Dom Papalardo, their goalie as he will have to clear the ice surface at some point if they want an extra skater on the ice. Highlanders with the two to nothing lead. Gives me the opportunity during this timeout to remind you what we have available on Somerville Ed TV coming up for remainder of the winter season. Of course, we're going to have Somerville boys basketball action, uh, action Somerville girls basketball action, as well as Somerville Highlander hockey action. We will also have plenty of other civic events as well as graduation ceremonies coming up in the spring along with lacrosse, boys and girls. We also have softball, baseball, as well as boys volleyball. Of course, the baseball team went to the playoffs last year. Hopefully they can do the same this coming season. Highlander hockey went to the playoffs as well last year. Got an upset victory, overtime victory over Minichog. 
six to five. We of course have that. If you want to walk down memory lane, we have that available here on Somerville Ed TV. Like, share, and subscribe. Mash those buttons for us. We really appreciate it. 109 remains in the game. Highlanders up two to nothing. Faceoff will be just outside the Swampskit zone. Dom Papalardo, their goalie, still in between the pipes. See when they're going to pull him off the ice as they get it over to Hitchcock. Hitchcock fires it into the zone. Papalardo is heading off the ice as the extra attacker is about to come on. Hitchcock cycles it deeper. As Swampskit now has the extra attacker on the ice. 50 seconds left in the game. Highlanders up by two. That one fired towards the net outside of the netting. As Roddy fires that back towards the slot, it goes outside. Prairie now will cycle it deeper. That one played all the way out by Bartram, but clean through. And DeAngelis had, or Artelino, I should say, has speed down there as well. Highlander forecheck, Tim Jones will harry him a bit as well. There's Matt DeAngelis, slowing things down. 20 seconds remaining in the game. As Faya is able to gain the zone, plays it forward right through the crease, but could not get the stick to it as Bartram couldn't get it down. Another opportunity there as Roddy tried to fire it in. Three seconds left. Shots are coming fast and furious and the Highlanders clear it out and that will do it as the second year in a row, the Highlanders shut out the big blue here at Veterans Memorial Rink. The score two to nothing as tempers flare at the end of the game. The Highlanders come away with the victory. They will move their record to four and three with no ties on the season so far. Swampskit will go to three, two, and two on the season as they suffer their second straight loss. Goals on the day, Tim Jones assisted by Matt Brokman and Matt DeAngelis assisted on Kyle Antonelli's goal as well. That was enough for the Highlanders to come away with a two to nothing victory. A shutout win, Robbie Larkin's first shutout of his young Somerville career. So congratulations to the Highlanders for that victory. And that's going to do it for us here from the vet. Thank you so very much for watching at home. We really do appreciate it. Thank you, Matt Frondito. Frondudo on camera. It's the first, time, first time I've gotten his name wrong, my goodness. Also, Ben Martin on production, thank you very much for watching at home. I am Todd Harmon, and you have been watching Somerville Highlander Hockey on Somerville Ed TV.